All right. Uh, it's over 100 degrees today. And I don't know, I'm seeing a lot of surface activity down there, which is good because I'm going to do some something I don't do very often. And I'm going to kind of stick to this area where the, well, this area here where the kayak sheet feeds down and the water is moving. It's probably cooler than the rest of the water. There's a lot of little fish down here making disturbances on the surface, which is fine. It's kind of what I'm targeting today. I'm also going to go up the creek that way. The river goes this way, the creek goes that way. I'm also going to go down this way under the bridge some, hopefully if I have enough time. Let me get down here and show you what I'm going to be using. Oh, those, that, there are millions of little minnows in there. That's what's making all the disturbance on the surface. That's not necessarily a good thing. Like this is... If you needed some aquarium fish, just get you a little net, net and dip in the water here, you'd probably get like 20 in a scoop. Anyway. Um, water doesn't want to stay standing. Uh, my backup rod today is my custom built one with the, I'll be throwing a silver spoon on that. If nothing's biting what my, my main rod is. The main rod today is my fly rod. And uh, I'm going to be using these little poppers, some little popper flies that I got off of Amazon, really cheap, like insanely cheap. I actually spotted a good sized cichlid. Oh, come on, dude. How does he do that? Got him. That time. Big old sickly. Don't shake off. I got to get you back down to your nest. Big male sickly with a big bump on his head there. I get my man these guys have teeth too oh crap oh well he made it back up out of the chute so he'll be all right he'll get back to his nest eventually i was going to take a picture of him but never mind Towards me, kind of cheating. Wait a minute, do I get a... F oh, I think I got a fish. I'm trying to cast it and there's a fish on there. You know what? <laughs> oh, there's actually a couple of fish. There's one, a little bitty one on there. And I forgot my landing net. And then there's a couple other smaller ones. 
There we go. Guadalupe bass choked it too. Just walked up on this snake. It's kind of crinkled up and looks like he's dead, but that is not dead. He stuck his tongue out. Psst. I don't know what kind of snake that is, but he's laying out in the sun. Go on. Get out of here. He's not interested in moving. There he goes. Good three and a half foot, four foot water snake. I know those aren't venomous, but I still just, I don't know what it is. Something about snakes just bring out a primal fear in people. Had one just take it off the surface. Is he still on? Yeah, I think he's on. What is it? It's a little, little bass. Is that a bass? That's a super skinny little bass. This one I'll take a picture of. Hooked in the upper lip, perfect hook set. Let's see if I can get my phone out without dropping it in the water. There we go. Get the hook out. came out nicely put up a good little fight on this rod fly rod wasn't sure how big it was I've never been this far down before so I don't know what it looks like but it looks like it's getting a little bit deeper more habitable for fish well, and up ahead it gets shallow and narrow again if there were any fish, they would be right here in this little hole. There's a little channel right here. It gets about two feet deep in the middle. There's some baby bass, little fingerlings about that long. There goes a couple of, a couple of bass right there. They're not very big. They're actually smaller than anything I've caught so far today. But let me see if I can get them fly fishing I mean you're not not typically targeting giant fish with the, the flies I can't even hit the water oh whoa that one made my drag stream on that Little bitty one, sunfish, but he went and grabbed it almost as soon as it hit the water. See, that thing is all beat up. It was, had eyeballs on it, had some spots like a frog. Most of the green is gone from where it was just hitting the rocks and stuff. But I still managed to catch a couple of fish on it. Two bass and a sunfish. Had some other, a bunch of other bites on it. Uh, got a cichlid on the uh, spoon. Had a couple of bass take the spoon too, but they slipped off. So it was a multi-species day. At least four bass bites total. And then uh, two other species landed, so.
What? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Look at this. That's the uh, smallest bass I've ever caught on the spoon. It's hooked through the gill, but he should be all right if I can get him off. It's not the gill plate, it's just the skin on the outside of the gill. Yep, came out pretty easy. Oh, nope. That's the smallest bass I've ever caught by far. And off he goes. Wow, back to back casts. Got something this time. Not much bigger. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I'd started recording by the time this one took it. I cast out. I stopped recording after I released the last one. Started recording, cast out, and then the camera turned on. <laughs> 